Hey everyone, so on the previous tutorial, I showed you about adding areas of detail. And now in this tutorial, I am going to show you um, how to use the artistic and the texture brushes to add like an artistic flair and, and more expression to your designs. So um, the brushes, the artistic brushes start at brush number 57 and I have a new layer here and I'm just going to give you a little example here. Um, now these brushes are meant to displace the pixels slightly more. So they're going to be slightly less aligned and they have just different effects. As you can see here, here's our, these are some like nice, um, these show the motion really nice, uh, nice directional, you know, kind of traditional impressionist ones. You've just got like all different kinds of effects. And so you can kind of just have fun, mix and match them and add some different um, artistic touches to your aligned kind of uh, artwork here. And I'm just going to go through and kind of show you, oops, let's undo that, just a few of these brushes. But as you can see here, these are great for adding artistic flair. And sometimes I use them because they're not so detailed. I'll use them to like this for the background to kind of really um, bring attention to my subject. They're all different kinds. So, you know, you can, what's great is you can mix and match, like add a little brush stroke here. There is a couple that are a little bit like watercolor. Number 65 kind of adds a little bit of a watercolor touch, which I think looks really cool. Um, but yeah, so these will displace the pixels more, so they're not going to be as aligned as the other ones. But like I said, they're great for adding artistic touches to your work and making it look less, you know, it's not computer generated. You know, it shows you the stroke. It, uh, they always follow the strokes that you make, so it really allows you to make it your own. And, you know, you can just add some little touches like this. And as you can see, the pixels are displaced slightly more. And this uh, number 78 is kind of getting into the texture here as well. But they add really nice little artistic touches. And then 84 ends the main um, artistic ones. And then we have at the end these texture ones. And these are great for adding like a little bit of the look of canvas into your work. So it just adds a little uh, different artistic touch and there's all different kinds of um, texture and canvas and it just really lets, your, lets you express your creativity and make it different and you know everybody can take the same photo and everybody's picture will look different you know because you can just keep adding different layers, you know, working over the top of your last one until you get it to a place you want. And even if you don't have to just do the aligned ones and then just do the artistic ones, you can go back and forth, layer, 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 and then it will really start to be feeling like a work of art. And it doesn't look like it was made by, you know, a, a filter or, um, an action or something like that. All the strokes are directional and yeah, it just feels really like a creative work of art. So that is the basics of working with this um, new technique and I've been getting amazing response. And then if I have any other, um, I'll probably add some more tutorials with um, different specific tips and tricks. But of course, if you have any questions, just put them down below in the comments.